Hi guys! Um, as you can see, the quality and the sound of my video is way better right now, and that's because I just went and purchased a brand new camera. <laughs> So it's really exciting because um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while and I finally saved up the money and went out and purchased this camera. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to like it yet, I'm going to see afterwards and see um, when I upload the video what it, the quality looks like. Uh, the guy said it was, it was an okay camera, he said it wasn't the best but for my budget, I mean this is what I could get so I'm hoping that you guys like the quality and it looks good and you can see the swatches and everything. Um, so today I'm going to do a video on my top 10 uh, favorite fall lipsticks. I'm a huge lipstick person. I wear lipstick every single day. Um, I really like the look of like a neutral eye and a amped up lip. So especially fall is my favorite season because the darker colors come in. So here we go. Um, the first color is literally, I'm, I'm not going to say anything in order, but I've been wearing this one the most this fall. Um, this one is by the Revlon uh, Super Lustrous line, and it's a cream finish, and it's called Mauve Night. I don't know if you could see that. Let's see. Now we're going to really see if it, if it works well, this camera. There you go. Mauve Night 473. Um, I don't really know how to explain it. It is sort of like a mauve type of color. Um, it's... A mauve like cranberry sort of neutral color. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now, um, but I have a lip gloss from the Balm over it, so um, it's not really true to color. But here, I'll do a little swatch for you guys over here. It's sort of like a, sh it's not very sheer, but you could, as you can see, you know, I don't know, I just really like it. It's like a neutrally but still dark fallish color. I like wearing it with like a cranberry scarf. I think it looks really good. So that's my number one. Then after, um, I have Rebel by MAC. This is a satin finish. Anyways, it takes a while to zoom, but yeah, this is a satin finish. Um, I recently purchased this this year. I didn't have it last year, but I really love it. It's a really dark, vampy, like berry color. Um, it's gorgeous. You can sheer it out or you can wear it depending. If you build it up, you can make it a really, really dark vampy color. I usually build it up because I like to have dark vampy colors on my lips during fall. So that's that color. This is one of my favorites. I bought this last year um, and I even wore it a few times during the summer because I love it so much. Um, it's a NARS lip product. It's it's the velvet matte lip pencil and granted this is very expensive but it's totally worth it because I've gotten really good use out of it this the color is called damned okay so here I'll do a little swatch for you it's, it's a little pencil like this it's kind of worn down sorry but I also really like matte colors for the fall so this is gorgeous and once again if you see it next to rebel it's very very similar just maybe a little bit darker, a little more berry, and uh, quite ma more matte. So there we go. Um, then after that, I have Up The Amp, which I spoke about um, in, an, in my past video. Um, it was a, re a recent gift that I received. I really love this color. It's um, an amplified finish, and it's sort of like a purpley, more purple than the other colors I showed you for sure. I don't know if you could see a trend here, but I'm really into the purpley, mauve cranberry colors. So that's up the amp right there. Really, really love that color. It's beautiful for sure, especially for fall. Then after that, I have a Revlon lip butter. These are phenomenal. They've been spoken about a lot on YouTube. The only thing I really don't like about them is that I find that there's not a lot of product in the tube and I tend to finish it quite quickly. But uh, this color is 040 Red Velvet. And this is really my go-to red. It's like a red color that you really don't need to put a lip liner with and you can just sort of put it on and it, it goes on really nicely. Um, and it's also really moisturizing to the lips. This is the color right over here. As you can see, it's super glossy and moisturizing. I really like that. Then afterwards, um, I have the new Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stains, or sorry, Balm Stains. Um, this is in the color 030 Smitten. I don't know if you guys can see that there. 
So I really love this. Actually, I've really worn this. I've, I've, you know, there's not much of it actually left. I wear this all the time. And um, I know you guys have probably seen many reviews on this, but this is just a really nice stick that you can put on and it does stain your lips. So that's really nice. Um, I'll do a little swatch for you right over here. It, it's sheer, but then you can really build it up if you want. It's right over here. It's once again, another like fuchsia type of color. I just find these kinds of color look really, colors look really nice with my eyes and my, my skin tone and my hair color, so I like to wear them. The next color I have is different than the rest. Um, it's more of like a neutrally brown color, um, which I really, really like. It's uh, the Rimmel Lasting Finish by Kate lipstick. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. And the color is number 14. Um... It's really like a darker nude, which I like. I don't like really, really nude colors that like blank out my lips because it doesn't look good on me. Um, this is the color right over here. So it's a significant amount, you know, darker than my skin. So it doesn't really, it doesn't wash me out and make me look like I'm sick. That's the color right there. These, these lipsticks are very, very creamy and very moisturizing. And I'm actually really, I really want to go buy, um, some more of these lipsticks to try them out because they have really nice colors. I don't know about the other Rimmel lipsticks, but this is, you know, the Kate line is really good. Then um, another lipstick that I have is Twig by MAC. It's a satin finish. This is another one that I would wear on more of like a professional basis. Um, once again, it's more on the brownie side, but it does have some, some reddish undertones in it and maybe a bit of berry. Um, it's a satin finish. It's very pigmented. It's right here if you can see that. It's right there. And the color is Twig and it's a satin finish. So I really like that color as well. And then I have uh, another color that I've spoken about in my last video. Um, it was part of my birthday haul and it's from the, Marilyn, the new Marilyn Monroe collection. And this color is called Deeply Adored and it's a matte finish as you can see right here. It's a really beautiful dark vampy like red type of color. Um, it's deeply adored right there. And I'm gonna do a little swatch again. Ooh, this is a, such a beautiful color. It's different than the rest of them because it is red, but I can't really explain it. It has, you know, like again, these like gorgeous like brick as well as berry undertones I find. So it really looks great. I love it. Um, and I've been, I'm going to wear it more often for the fall for sure. And the last product that I'm going to talk about, um, in the fall, my lips start to get extremely dry and chapped. That happens to me all the time. Just like the rest of my skin, as I said in my previous two videos. Uh, so something I, I really try to do is to keep my lips moisturized, especially because I like to wear lipstick. Um, it's very important since, you know, if you wear lipstick and your lips are all chapped, it's really like, it, it's not flattering. You can see all the, the skin peeling off and everything underneath the lipstick. So it's, it, and it accentuates the peeling lips. So something that's super important is obviously a nice moisturizing lip balm. Um, I have a few of these in different flavors, but my favorite flavor by far is the honeydew flavor. And this is the EOS lip balm. Sorry, it's a little bit dirty. I put this on every night before I go to bed and I also have um, a few around the house as well as one in my purse and one in my car. Uh, the one I currently have in my purse, I purchased, it's it's the strawberry one. I came in the pack for breast cancer um, and it came with uh, you know the little hand lotion, which is great too. Um, I really, really love these. So as you can see, this honeydew one, I've really like, you know, used most of it. It smells amazing. And honestly, I wake up in the morning and my lips are like a, like butter. It's, it's really phenomenal. I really like them. So anyways, those are my top 10 fall lip products that I love. And I, I've been re-wearing um, on a daily basis since fall started. Um, I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please subscribe to my channel um, and go check out my previous videos, even though they're not such great quality. Um, I'm hoping the quality of this video is better and uh, yeah, that you guys enjoyed it. So thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye.